This is match number one for the semifinals for the UWA Duos Titles Tournament. Of course, the finals will take place at Lithium, guys. This is the aftermath of what we're calling the aftermath of the Universal Rumble. What you guys did not see on air that happened at the Universal Rumble, we played out the Duos Title Tournament there before and after the show. The semifinals matches were performed after the Universal Rumble show. Cut the condition is Seth freaking Rollins and Jerry Jett's going to be in here as they will clash with the connection who has had a fairly easy run throughout this tournament. They were in a handicap match for round one. They got a buy in round two. Jerry Jets is the UWA United States Champion. Jerry Jets is a very good singles wrestler, but he has been doing great in this duos tournament, as well as the Universal Rumble we've seen earlier tonight. Well, we're, we're here, but uh, nonetheless, the Universal Rumble we've seen Jerry Jets and Seth Rollins pick up a huge victory, making a statement over the Lost Boys. Of course, the Lost Boys were eliminating this tournament in round one by SBU, the Severe Violence Unit. He will be in the match two for the semifinals against the Hollywood Douches. No matter who wins, this is going to be a very interesting matchup for Lithium for those duos titles. And now we get the entrance of the connection. Representing the connection in this tournament, we've seen their friend, their partner, Brody Reeve, win the Universal Rumble and get that IC title case. I think, based on that alone, the connection decided hey, it's going to be Macho Santos and Adam Page in this tournament. I mean, logically, you would have wanted Brody Lee to be in this tournament, but I think that might have been a strategy, a strategic mind game put in place by the connection, as Brody Lee is a former four-time tag team champion here in UWA. So you would think if anyone, you would want Brody Lee in this tournament. But surprisingly, the connection is not going with him. He's going to be Marco Santos and Adam Page. Now granted, Mancho Santos and Adam Page are main event caliber talent in singles competition, but how are they going to do in tag team competition? It's the real question. This is going to be their first real tag team match of this tournament. Of course, Jets and Rollins are going to be in way worse shape and nice move. Adam Page lands on his feet there. Like I said, Adam Page is in a lot better condition. Now Jerry Jets going to send Page into the corner. Adam Page showing off some of, his, some of his athleticism early on here. I've got to honestly say Adam Page and Jerry Jets have to be the two most athletic competitors in this company. So seeing both of them in the ring at the same time should be very interesting. The only other time that ever happened was last season back at, uh, what was it, Worlds at War? That's clothesline there. There's a triple threat for Adam Page's Lit Feds Championship. And Page has recently re-won the title. He's now a two-time Lit Feds Champion. Of course, Macho Santos, your current reigning, still reigning, Lit World Champion, the longest reigning Lit World Champion in uh, Lit Wrestling history. That one right there raked to the uh, glasses, I guess, from Jerry Jets. You don't want to scratch at Macho's glasses. And a tag out, in comes Seth freaking Rollins. Now we've seen this combo from Jets and Rollins earlier in the tournament. That Heine and Zaguri combination into a Northern Lights. Rollins hooks one leg here. One, two, and Macho kicks out two. You see, remember the hook the leg there in Seth Rollins. Like I said, Rollins already stated this multiple times. Rollins has been has seen better days. Pun intended, but there are four on the glasses there from Rollins. He's going to break Macho's glasses. But Rollins right now, this season, last season, he's been fighting with 50% 50, 50 vision, man. So obviously Rollins is definitely, his game's definitely dropped since losing that eyesight and that one eye that's really 
hurt his uh, credibility here in UWA. And now Macho with a TKO. Nice move from Macho Santos. And he's going to look to end Rollins early here. Rollins and Jets both beat up the connection in pretty good shape still. And right there, the die hard from Macho Santos right into the cover. That float over stunner. One, two, Page cuts him off. And no, Seth Rollins kicks out at two. Seth freaking Rollins staying alive in this somehow. Rollins back up to his feet, sends Macho into the corner, full speed ahead and misses. Face off, face first off the buckle there. And now Macho Santos rallying here, a couple clotheslines, ducks the line off the rope. Seth freaking Rollins catches him right into an STO. Almost like a rock bottom variant there from Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins now roll through, schoolboy super kick, suck it. Macho now gonna roll him over, look for that curb stomp. He hit that in round two, but no. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen this time. Tag out, in comes Adam Page. Said like Rollins and Jets are too beaten up right now. The connection is in fairly good shape. This is an uneven match going into this. There's Rollins and Page met last year for the Lit Efeds Championship as well. It's Page and Jets. The matchup that was. Rollins is gonna have to be careful because Page beat him. Then he can beat him here again. Rollins doesn't watch it, and Page now right into the Widowmaker. Widowmaker is locked in. Adam Page's signature submission hold here. Rollins needs to get out of this. Page already targeted the arm earlier. And Rollins is forced to tap out. 